Damn, it's good to see you, friend. <laughs> Likewise. Can't believe it's been almost a year. And yet the time is now upon us. Yeah, let's play. How are things in Austin? Good, good. You know what? Uh, great, great, actually. I don't know why I'm being so modest. Things are fantastic. Top of the world, David. I'm glad that things are going good, and I'm glad that you're making time for the things that we like to do. Uh, like, I would miss a chance to play. <laughs> you know, uh, speaking of work, though, uh, I'm actually done working. What? What happened? Oh, no, nothing ominous. No, uh, I sold out, actually. Ambrose bought the whole business. I assume that you did well, then. Yes. Like I said, I'm done working. Well, then, lunch is on you. You know, I read where you've been busy. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I, I saw that on the news, too, and, uh, you know, it's uh, similar to my style, but, um, no, I'd, uh, I'd never play without you, David. Well, okay, then, let's go eat. Speaking of which... So what do you have on the agenda for us this time? Well, I got here on Monday, and I've been serving a couple options. Excellent. Now, I'm so glad you're here to do all of this planning ahead of time to make this event such a success. I like to be spontaneous. You like the risk. <laughs> yes, I do like a bit of risk. I've been serving a couple places. A western suburb, in a small ski area that I feel would produce fruit. Uh, excellent. I am so happy I got to come out here to play. Thank you, David. Do you need supplies? Uh, no, I had them shipped this time. Uh, what about you? Yes, I do, but not many. I'm going into a different direction this time. I'm glad to hear you're breaking from your usual fare. I'm gonna need some basics. Can you feel it? <laughs> I share your anticipation. The setup, the act, the hunt. Yeah, you know, you haven't mentioned Donnie. What's up? Oh, he didn't make it. Oh, Dave, <laughs> you didn't. No, no, no. I meant he couldn't make it. I thought I could make it work. Oh, I know. It's a shame, really. Mm, seems so happy. I tried. I really did. But I needed to stay empty. <laughs> like a machine, I know. The void. The space where nothing exists. Yeah. So you're good. No complications. Yes. Of course. Perfectly empty. <laughs> It's almost two. If we're gonna do this first hunt today, then we should go now. I am so ready. This is not a catch and release like Chicago was though, right? No, it's not. It's just too risky here. Yes. Let's go hunting. Right on time. So very young, David. Not like you at all. Yeah, like I said, I wanna change things up. I need to surprise myself. I assume there's no problem. No, no problem. Are you serious? It's beautiful. How old? It doesn't matter. You know your role. To perfection.
Sorry it took me so long. <laughs> Look at you, you're a mess. <laughs> That's real nice. Yeah, well. Real mature. <laughs> I thought so. So, uh, what about that? She'll get tired. Hello, Mr. Fellows. Yeah, so good. Santiago Fellows? Well, why do you want to get in touch with him? I didn't. He contacted me. He wants to meet with us. What else would I say but yes? David, so good to see you. Uh, Mr. Fellows, it's so nice to finally meet you. Uh, my name is Sean. Uh, David has told me so much about you. Well, there's no shortage of stories. Isn't that right, David? No shortage. So you're officially retired then? Well, I thought I was. I was living simple. Things were quiet. I was content. Have a seat. So, uh, <laughs> three killers sit at a table. Sound like the start of a really good joke? Killing is no joke, Sean White. Uh, no disrespect meant, sir. None taken. You're an idiot. No, David, you as well. I taught you better than this. Waste your talent on these carnal urges to take life without justification. You mean without payment, because somehow if you get paid to kill somebody, you're somehow better, somehow more justified. Sam, come on. What is this really about? I'm just sad, David. I told you to stop this lifestyle, this unwarranted slaughter. I thought you understood. Not approved, but understood. <sighs> what a hypocrite. So much for being a legend. Sam, what did you do? I killed him, David. I shot him three times with a pistol. Why are you so shocked if life is so worthless to you? Would it have been better if I'd have laid him out on the table and tortured him for a day before I killed him? Would that meet your standards? But I... Your adventure in Chicago was not free. Now you pay the price. San, I was not expecting this. You are a legend. Thank you, David. Goodbye.